Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing today, ladies and gentlemen? I had a very, very busy work day, and I'm so glad I finally get to come back and sit down and play some Skyrim. Just a quick recap from the last episode. We went and delved into Sarthol. Sarthol, Sarthol, Sarthol. And we found a mysterious orb and we reported it back to Savas Aren, And he directed us to go see this lovely gentleman over here who directed us again to Orthorn, who apparently took some books that we really need that might have some uh, information on this orb we found. And uh, yeah, so we got to go find him and ask him very, very nicely if we can have those books back. Oh, and again, we are playing survival mode. So let's have a quick look-see as to where it's nice and far away. So I'm thinking goal one of this episode is going to be to run our little bootsies over to Windhelm. And that is quite the trek. But... The purpose of going to Windhelm first is obviously we'll have a carriage, so we'll be able to fast travel, but also we'll be buying a horse because uh, we we definitely really, really need a horse. I think before I begin this journey, I'm going to get some sleep. And also, I found out, sorry to anyone who was watching the videos earlier, and they were probably yelling at me because I was being a silly, silly duffer and didn't really... I love how they make Uncano sleep in with the barrels and the hay and stuff. You deserve this. Oh, nobody likes you. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Ah, oh, yes. I figured out that um, the torch mechanic, so it doesn't warm you up per se if you were cold. It just slows down the rate it ha of how cold you get. So if I'm in a cold place... And I have a torch in my hand. It's not going to warm me up. But what it will do is slow down how quickly I do get cold. So now that we've slept, our magicka is back up. But our hunk, but our stamina sorry, is down. Because we are some hungry, hungry, hungry boys. So before we step off, we'll get some apple cabbage stew. I, I cannot imagine what that would taste like. But we'll get some apple cabbage stew in us. I need your help and with something something private hmm sure actually yeah okay I think new here too eh I'd hoped I wouldn't be the only Nord but I should have known better why aren't there many Nords at the college magic is shunned by most if it can't be swung over your head and used to crack skulls most Nords want nothing to do with it magic is seen as something for elves and weaker races no offense of course Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. Quite the segue. It was a now I, want back <laughs> I didn't what think I we were talking about this, it's but okay. It's that belonged to my family. I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Okie dokie. Um... Why is this amulet so important to you? I told you, it's for my family. I don't... I know they've always disapproved of what I wanted in life. To learn magic instead of becoming a farmer or a hunter. But no matter how poorly they may have treated me, they're still my family. I didn't consider that until after I made the trade. Oh, what a good boy. Uh, we already know what he needs from Enther. He I needs the amulet. Going. But you're going to have to wait on that for a little bit. We will do it. We will do it. Uh, just not right now. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to... Get this torch out... While we run. And then hopefully... We won't get any huge... Si or terrible side effects of the cold... Where we start moving at... Two steps per hour. And... Um, our health goes all the way down, so we just need to, they just need to like lightly blow on us, just like a little, and then we're dead. 
hopefully this uh, can circumvent that. And before we continue on, What's actually, uh, no real big hurry aside from the fact that we have to run all the way there. Um, so I, we're gonna I sell do some what's stuff necessary first. So we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. Oosh. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Yes, the age-old line. Okay, we'll sell that, sell that, keep that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Um, keep that, sell that, sell that. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Sell that, sell that. Um, by the way, we're keeping this, these kinds of things for enchanting. We'll get into some enchanting a little bit later on. Uh, sell those, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, um, okay, we can keep that, that could be useful, fortify conjuration could be useful, fortify destruction, useful, fortify health, useful, fortify health, useful, fortify health, useful, fortify pickpocket, um, I mean useful, but we're probably not going to be using that, potion of glibness, yeah, we'll keep that if we get any speech checks, I reckon. And I remember to use it. Illusion spells are 25% stronger for 60 seconds. We'll sell that. Don't really need it just yet. Or for anything. I like to think I'm a bit of a, you know, a master lock picker. I never ever invest any perks in it. I have no trouble picking master locks. So I'm going to sell that and watch me have trouble now. The next dungeon we get into. And I really want something and I can't get it. We're definitely going to keep resist potions. Um, resist poisons. Yeah, we'll keep those as two. I can see them being pretty handy in a few missions from now. Or a few quests from now, sorry. We definitely don't need that. We're not going to be an archer. Um, definitely don't need that. We'll just come up for a little breath every so often. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of... Yeah, you know what? On the house because you helped me empty my inventory. Until next time. Until next time. Can I take this? No, you'll be angry at me. So now... What we're going to do is run all the way to Windhelm. And what we're going to do on the way there is we're just going to practice our magic a little bit. And by practice our magic, I, th I mean we're going to like cheese our... Oh no, I got rid of the torch. And by practice our magic, I mean we're going to we're gonna cheese the illusion. Just just a little tittle biddle. Just a little tittle biddle. But when you think about it, it's actually, you know, it's actually somewhat accurate because we are training. We are just casting... I was going to say casting this over and over again, but just seeing how much magic that took, we are definitely not going to be casting it over and over again. We're going to be casting it once every little while. So, on our treacherous... Oh, at least it's leveling pretty quickly. On our treacherous uh, little trek all the way to Windhelm, we're more than likely going to, and as I say it, we're more than likely going to run into a few, a few little beastie boys like this. So we'll be able to get some uh, destruction up. Oh, maybe not. We'll be able to get some uh, destruction up. We just got to be... I'm going to try and keep that torch in my left hand. I, I really don't want to get the effect of the hold if I can help it because they are rather terrible. So we're just going to keep sprinting around, see if we can... Hopefully that kills him. I'm really, really loving the uh, the, anim the animation or the effect. Oh, an amethyst! You were definitely worth killing. I'm really loving the uh, effects of and just how it looks to be. Who are you, courier? A important deliveries to make. No, no time, time for, for chatting. chatting. Thank you, Dokey. I'm really loving how it looks when uh, the electricity and the fire engulfs the the enemy. I think this is a it's a pretty cool addition to the spells. Definitely. I would say a little bit overpowered from the spells I would usually be able to access at this point in the game, but uh, on legendary difficulty survival mode, you know, I'm, I'm really not complaining. I'll take any leg up that I can get. So how far have we got? We've definitely got a long way to go, don't we? Uh, what happened there? We've definitely got a long way to go. So we're about a third of the way there. Yeah, okay. What I'm thinking is, I'll probably cut here, and if anything interesting happens along the way, I will obviously uh, get you guys back in here to see whatever's happening. If anything significant happens, I'll, I'll get you guys back in here. 
But until then, I'll see you at Windhelm. Oh, whoa, okie dokie. So this guy just came running in from the side of the screen out of nowhere. I don't know what I've done wrong. I don't know what I've done to make him angry. We'll, uh, we'll just have to kill him, unfortunately. And find out, well, definitely not unfortunately. I definitely want to kill this guy because he wants to kill me for no reason. And he looks like he's got some good stuff on him, too. Just got to make sure we don't kill you good. Ah, oh, dang it. Don't move. No, stop moving. Okay. To the ground it is. Get this destruction, okay? Come on. Come on. Sorry, Youth Gerd, but you're not about to die, so I'm definitely going to... Come on. Let me kill him. I want to kill him. There we go. Kind of stole your kill there a little bit, Youth Gerd. You def... Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. I thought she was coming after me. She said, come on, and I thought she was going to come after me because I had heard her too much or something. Dark Brotherhood Assassin's Note. Hmm. Maybe he was after me for some particular reason. Hey, who sent you after me? Well, let's have a quick read of the note and we'll continue on our merry way. Uh, Dark Brotherhood Assassin's Note. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> As instructed, you are to eliminate Thoran Verolt by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Astrid. Ooh. So, are uh, more going to come after me? Or what happens if I decide I want to join the Dark Brotherhood? Are they going to be like, hey, we know you. We're, su we're supposed to kill you. And then all of a sudden i got to kill more. I don't know. Well, I do, but I'm not going to spoil it. We'll just have to find out, potentially at a later date. And now I'm really cold and I'm moving at three kilometers an hour again. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through this, so, oh, actually, we've got some bandits up here, it looks like, potentially. So I won't cut yous away just yet, we'll kill, oh no, it's not a bandit, that's a skelly. And that looks like an outpost. This looks like a big old outpost. Um, fort, cut, oh no, this is definitely not what I want. Oh. Okie dokie, let's see where our last save was. <laughs> okay, I'll see you at Windhelm. You guys see that that guy all the way over there? Is he there for us? Let's see. Looks like a bit of a sneaky Argonian. <sighs> yeah, so we died and we only just... I, I didn't cut years away for very long. We are... Uh, there he is, assassin. Yep. So the second assassin. Act. Oh my. Okay, we're back and I'm happy again. Oh, the day I've had, this is exactly what I need. Oh well. We'll make our way to Windhelm. We will get there. We will kill this Wolfie for the third time. But I'm telling you guys right now no more deaths, okay? And no more deaths for this, the rest of this playthrough. Dead Wolfie. And we are going to kill everything we see without fail. Nothing is going to get us. I promise you that. Not even this person, if they decide to go hostile, who are they? Mercenary. There's been word of some trouble nearby. Yes, I'm yes, I'm sure there has been. But you know what? The amount of times I've tried to make this exact same trip, I'm not interested in getting that quest off of you right now. Maybe at a later date. I just want to make it to Windhelm, and I just want to get my horsey. Is that too much to ask? Please, game, be nice. I'm already on legendary difficulty, survival mode. I don't need any random assassins or any saber cats or mages or good job, Uthgerd. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna let you do your thing. I don't need any of that stuff, okay? I, I die easy enough as it is, and I already have to run everywhere, okay? Like, I'm all for the random encounters and stuff, but... Uh, just... Uh, let's hold it for now. At least until I get a horse so I can choose to run away if I want. So, like, look at that. Just everything in Skyrim wants you dead. There's just people down there fighting. Like, everything. Everything in Skyrim wants to kill you. Okie dokie. Time to have a quick look-see. Um, 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 executive decision. 
Hmm. Is it better to go around or just go up and then down? I'm going to go up and then down. I think that's the move. I think that's the move to play. Because last time I went straight and I ran into that mage and she just hit me once with the fireball. Or the firebolt. And I was a dead little mage. Goat. I'm trying to be nice. I'm, I'm trying not to be the thing that I said where everything just wants to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. Just, just don't get in my way again, okay? I'm stressed out enough as it is. And there's another wolf up there looking at me. And it's just like, hey. Hey, I'm pretty sure Zarnov is coming this way. Hey, I'm just going to spawn in right here. Right here. Okie dokie. Lucky wolves aren't too bad and we can kind of kill them with ease. But my goodness. Do I just want to get to Windhelm and get me my horsey so I can continue on with this quest? Because this is a fun quest. This is a very, very genuinely fun quest. The College of Winterhold. Ooh, the Shrine of Azura. We're going to have to go over there soon as well. That's another good quest. But um, the College of Winterhold questline is genuinely really, really fun. And all of the side quests you can get from the College of Winterhold are all genuinely really, really, really fun. And, you know, as much as I complain... Is that a free horsey? Are you going to stand up or are you just a dead horsey? You're a dead horsey. Um, I, that was weird. Um, and as much as I complain about survival mode and having to run everywhere, I do enjoy it. Okay, I know it's hard. It's probably hard to believe right now, but I do actually enjoy it because I already know I'm going to see like this right here. I, I, I can safely say I have never seen this. And that was what I was about to say is I do know I'm going to see a lot of things that I usually never would see. Why is my screen shaking? Okay, back down the mountain we go. We can go back down the mountain from here. Maybe not. That looks like the uh, place that got us killed. And real quickly, just going to save. Just going to do a quick little, little savey. Because uh, I keep making the mistake of not saving and then I die and then I start outside the front of the shop and have to kill the same wolf and deal with the same assassin and uh, I'm just, I, I, I don't want to keep doing it. I don't want to keep doing it, so I'm going to save. I'm going to save a little bit more. We're all freezing. Why did, I, why did my torch go away? Why did, it get, why did it get put away? Did it? Burnout, is that a thing? I think that might be a thing. I think I do remember that being a thing. Yep, my torch burnt out. Okie dokie. Get ready for some icicle toesies that move super slowsies. Oh my goodness. I just want to get to Windholm. I just want to get to... Un I'm way further away now than I was. Um, oh, it's over there. Okay, I'm just going to remember. Head south. Or southeasty. Head southeasty and we'll be beasty or something. Something that rhymes, something that makes me sound cool and makes people subscribe. Okie dokie. Now that I'm fairly confident we're out of danger and there's not going to be any more random occurrences, we'll cut here and I'll see you at Windhelm for the fourth time, I promise. You're going to come back in one second and we'll actually be there. Right? I guess not. What have we just started? <laughs> oh, I've just... Okay, defeat the seducer's bandit leader. I've located bandits wielding strange weapons and armor. These must be... These must be the bandits the Khajiit caravan merchant was rumored to be having trouble with. I should deal with them in order to learn more and make this trade route safer to travel. Defeat the seducer's bandit leader. I, I really... Okay. We're not going to do that. Um, look at my health. Uthgird, she's there, but I, and I'm, I'm moving too slow. We're not going to do that for now. Okay, we'll, we'll just leave that for now. And now, now I actually do promise, okay? This is a real promise. This is a real little promise here. I'll see you in Windhelm. In two, one, bam. Okie dokie, guys. I broke my promise. We are not at Windhelm. I'm sorry. We can't. We just can't get there. Look at my health. I am so cold. My little toesies have icy cold, have little icies on them. And I just need to get inside. Someone please just... I'm, I'm, I'm breaking in. I'm sorry. I'm breaking in. My dude is going to die out here if I don't. 
Okie dokie. Let's get in there and hopefully they're not going to tell us to leave immediately because they will literally be sending us to our death. Oh, I'm so stressed out. I'm, I'm, I'm failing a novice lock. I'm so stressed. Come on, just let me in. Oh no, I know what it is. It's this... Oh, it's the effect we have because we're cold. Lock picking is harder. Okie dokie. Just stand by the fire. Hopefully there's no one in it to tell us to leave. Okay. Let's warm up. Gonna unfreeze our little toesies and then I will see you at Windhelm. True Nords never back down. I'm here to help you and also level up my own restoration. Here to help you. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. Is that some shooting? Okay, I thought that was somebody shooting at me. I was about to say. And as I promised, we are at Windhelm. We freeze that little toesies off. For some reason, I thought this was shorter than this. But hey, we all make mistakes. I've made my fair share of mistakes, and I'm going to continue to make some mistakes. But yeah, so what happened was I decided to make a little turn up here, thinking it would be shorter. Ended up freezing and almost dying, but luckily we broke into a house at Angus Mill, and there's nobody in there saying, you need to leave, so we could warm ourselves up. And I'm right here now. Just come across Talzgar the Wanderer. I think this is the fellow we saw in the first episode. I wonder if any healing with Wolfie also uh, increases my restoration. I probably shouldn't. We should, probably just, should probably just kill it. Um, ooh, Silver Garnet Ring. So yeah, we're going to kill this Wolfie. And then we're going to get to the first goal of this video. <laughs> I can't believe it's taken... Oh, I can't use that, otherwise I'm definitely going to have him angry. Is he angry at me? He is. He's aggroed onto me. For some reason. What did I do? True Nords never back down. What did I do to make you angry, my friend? No. no. Are you kidding me? This is the most disturbed trip I've ever had. The, um, I've single-handedly died more times in this one video than what I have in the rest of this playthrough. Arguably the rest of the playthrough being harder as well. What is going on? Oh. <sighs> For the like eighth time now, I will see you at Windhelm. Okay, guys, no more distractions, no more interruptions. We're finally here. We're finally at Windhelm. We're finally gonna buy the horse. We're finally gonna continue on with this quest. I am so sorry it has taken this long to get here. Probably just a few seconds for you guys with the cuts and stuff, but for me, it has taken quite a while. Definitely longer than originally anticipated but we're here now no more complaining talk to Ulandil. oh pardon me was i in your way i'd like to buy a wild horse map um i, I mean that uh, that's definitely a creation club content does that mean we get to go like tame a wild horse that would be pretty cool but for the purpose of this video we it's just need to buy a horse coin. That's all we need. Here's my offer. 1,000 gold. That's, your That's a lot of gold. Offer. That's a lot I of gold. I suppose so. She's the one with the saddle. Sweet. Aren't you worried about the... How does... The dragons aren't activated yet, silly. I'd like to armor my horse. Hmm. Change my horse's saddle. What? What, what, what do these do? Change my horse's saddle. Of course. Standard saddle, white saddle, and pure saddle. Okay, so no, nah, it's all good. Sometimes the difference between Which one's life ours? And death is a swift steep. This one. Thoron Veralt's horse. Hello there. You are a female. I think. Or at least I cannot tell, but you know what? I'm going to name you Gregory. Gregory. Thoron Veralt's horse, Gregory. We'll ride you soon, buddy, because I'm pretty sure you fast travel with us. So let's see where we've got to go. Over here near Whiterun, and we'll get out of the cold. So we are definitely going to fast travel to Whiterun. Uh, yes, where I do definitely do. I would like to go to Whiterun, my good man. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Yes, let's be off. Oh. When I'm in Whiterun, I always visit the Gildegree. Never hurts to pay your respects to Lady Kinnereth. Yes, the Gilda Green, the very nice big tree. We'll have to do a quest for that one too. Oh, 
You feel warmer and are now comfortable. Yes, I could imagine my guy has been struggling. Now, where's our horsey? Please tell me the horsey fast traveled with us. Please, please tell me the horsey fast traveled with us. Please tell me the horsey fast traveled with us. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe. Maybe I've just got to go into a house and then come back out of a house or go into White Run and come back out of White Run. Uh, let, let's try that. Let's try that. I'm praying that that is the case because otherwise I just spent 1,000 gold on Gregory and I don't even get to ride him. Oh my goodness. My goodness. This is the slowest start to an episode I think I've had. We've we've bought a horse in all this time we've bought a horse maybe not much time for you guys but for me i've been recording a while now and all we've done is buy a horse please hopefully that does something to the cells in the game and the horsey spawns out the front and it doesn't look like it did oh. <sighs> Skyrim. What a great game, hey? What a great game. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. I'm saying that because I know deep down it is a great game, but this right here is just getting to me just that tiny little bit. Oh, well. Let's make our way to this quest. I never anticipated that survival mode would slow down the game this much. Ooh, a butterfly. Take, take. Nom, 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 nom. Gotcha. Yes, I knew it would definitely slow it down a bit, but this much I, I could never have anticipated. But also, not the worst thing in the world. That's not my horsey either. And I'm pretty sure that building over there isn't... I don't think I recognize that building. That might be some kind of Creation Club content. So I, I don't know if it's that building or just in general. It looks like there's more buildings here than usual. I don't know. We might have to go check it out. Ooh. I might spend the time to try and grab some of these guys because there is an extremely strong potion that's worth quite a lot of money if you can manage to catch them. So I'm going to spend the time and I will cut here for you guys so you don't have to watch me, but I really want that salmon row because it is quite powerful. Okie dokie, pretty sure we got all the salmon that... Uh, was jumping, uh, we'll leave that time, but we got all the salmon from there, so we got, we got enough for at least, how many potions, I'm, I'm gonna say we got like four or five, so, yeah, five, so, okay, so we got enough for five potions that include salmon, right, and that is, that is a lot of those potions, believe me, we will have plenty of money after we make them, we'll probably make them in the next episode, if I remember, because we are just gonna be absolutely flat strapped for time in this episode this is definitely going to be a longer episode and another random encounter hey old orc i'm guessing yep. I good death. yeah let's do it let's if do you it you're not here to grant me a good death then you can leave a good death yes were i to simply lay down and die it would not please malakath Why do you wish to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Perhaps I could give you the death you... Oh, actually... You don't look that old to me, because he really doesn't. Certainly you're still a strong, capable warrior. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are grey and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? See, that's what I absolutely love about, uh, again, just another little piece of lore. That's why I made. Sh that's why I decided to get that uh, piece of dialogue there, because it's just, 
just awesome these different cultures and what they believe and oh, i love skyrim so much perhaps i could give you the death you seek perhaps are you sure about this yes i'm sure i will give you a good death hmm. we shall see and now i'm going to immediately run away like a coward really quickly and i'm going to save really really quickly And I'm going to get some high ground. Because he will kill me in one shot. He is indeed a powerful orc. So, we're going to traverse this little structure right here. Get elemental flare. And we're going to... Oh, look at that help. Look at that help. This is necessary. Oh. It is my best. It is my best. This is I'll the best death I can offer you. Can this is the best death I can offer you. Alright, you just have to be patient, and I'll be right with you. Just don't heal yourself, okay? Don't pull out any potions, and ho hopefully Uthgird comes soon. I thought she was going to be, like, right behind me. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Way too close, way too close. Let's catch a butterfly, catch a butterfly. Uh, way too close. Actually... I feel like we got some potions for this. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, potions, fortify destruction. Destructions are thirteen percent stronger for sixty seconds. Resist seven percent of shock for sixty seconds. That's a bit of a waste. That second part, but we'll definitely take that. And to help that out, we are going to take some potions of minor magicka, just to give us a little, just so we can actually use the potion. The uh, fortified destruction potion. Oh, see how much stronger that made those. Wow, so strong, so strong. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. As you run away, coward. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know you're not a coward. I'm the coward. I'm playing ring around the rosy. Oh no! 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 I'm playing ring around the rosy on this rock because it's like the only way I can fight you, my friend. I'm sorry. It's the best death I can follow, I can give you. you puny yes, I know, I know, don't remind me, okay? I'm a mage because I don't have big strong arms like you. Come on, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, here we go. Oh, Uthgerd! Thank you for showing up! I almost, for a second there, I, I actually didn't think you were going to come, but... There we go. And all of a sudden, because of good old Uthgerd, this is made so much easier. In fact, I see a little uh I see a little opportunity to level up some illusion so long as she doesn't kill him too quickly. She's gonna kill him before I can use this on her. Please don't, 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 please Okay, well, you know, I'm not gonna complain because you have nothing. For how powerful you were, you have nothing. I'm not going to complain because you were definitely you were definitely appreciated and needed for that. That was not looking good for me. I was more than likely going to slip up at some stage. And we're going to save right here because I don't want to have to do that again. I was more than likely going to slip up at one stage and he was going to get me. He was going to get me. Uthgerd, courage. Illusion level up. For a fight. Yeah, I bet. I bet with that courage spell. So, I'm pretty sure I can just keep on casting this on and should be leveling my illusion. There we go. That wolfie, wolf pelt. Yeah, we'll take it. And wolfie, take the pelt and we'll continue on. Let's go, Uthgurdy. Ah, oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a much longer episode than I anticipated. A much, much longer episode than I anticipated. Um, we're not going to fight whoever's up here. We're just going to discover the stone. Oh, another fight. No, no, no need to fight. No need to fight. Oh, that's something new. What is that, a skeleton wolf thing? Right. We'll find out later, because we're very close now. 
we're very very close and we can finally get on with this this little quest my gosh this has just taken way too long let's get out of here before we start getting super cold pick up the more tapanella because you can never have too much more tapanella butterfly 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 nom 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 okie dokie Hopefully Uthgerd actually sw Oh no 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 no. Is this for me? No? But you're a vampire, aren't you? You are. Like, you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm actually very, very glad you decided to spare me. Because that's exactly what that was just then. That was her sparing me. I'm not even gonna act like I could have killed her. <sighs> Okie dokie. Let's Who are they? Fo okay, it's a fox. Okie dokie. We're definitely going to need some friends because Uthgerd isn't here. So, I'm going to get out Flame Utranak. That's <laughs> necessary, I feel like. Oh my goodness. That is why that is so necessary. Oh, jeez. Restoration increase. We really... Uh, being able to level up without sleeping would be... Oh so handy. It would be oh so handy. I wish Oh Uthgerd. I was about to say I wish we had just waited for Uthgerd because I just realized how hard this is gonna be. You are a lifesaver, literally. This could not be done without you. I'm quite confident of that actually. I feel like it would be literally impossible. Oh my flame matronax couldn't it work though. Good stuff. Thank you, Daddy. And I just noticed I'm on fire. Hopefully it doesn't drain my health too quickly. Quick enough to make me want to cower away. Um, let's start. We should have gotten the lower cost stone flesh. What is it? Oak flesh? We should have gotten that because that's just too much for us right now. And we could definitely do with some damage reduction, but oh well. Um, let's go destruction. We'll go... We've got Elemental Flare, it's nice and cheap and we can actually cast it. Put your ward away, you cheater. Okay, um, I'm just not even going to bother with that until I'm a little bit closer. But before we do that, I'm going to save. Because I don't want to die. Well, if I do die, I don't want to have to do a lot of that stuff all over again. Apprentice finally, are you going to one-shot me? Are you going to one-shot me? You're definitely going to one-shot me if you get that shot off, aren't you? But you're not going to get that shot off. You very nearly got that shot off. Oh, yes. Didn't think about that because I'm using some shock as well. Oh, no. Because I'm using some shock as well, it's actually taking some of her own um, magical pull away. This is a very, very good spell Your indeed. No place here. Ha! Like the bite of a flea. Is that my flame watchmark? No, it's not. Mine must have died. Come on, come on. Let's go with Gerd. Let's get her. Once we get her, we just get the flame watchmark, and that'll be that'll be easy peasy. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I love it, I love it. Let's keep the energy going. I've already got it, but it's going to sell for a good price, so we'll take it. And I'll take that too. Is that quicker than what my Magicka is already regenerating? No? Okay, all good. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Just going to be a little, do a little hey, save scum there. Okay, I'll be careful. Sorry, sorry. Um, I don't have any ice stuff, do I? But we've got you this. Doing? Let's see if... Can I make another work on the I like you, I like you, I like you. Keep going, Uthgerd. Keep going, Uthgerd. You're the main character in this plot. Literally. I am the follower. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't even realize you were down, Uthgerd. I said all that good stuff and you went down. What's wrong with you? Come on, let's see you put up a fight. 
And back down you go. I've got to be so careful I don't hit you. Otherwise you are just going to go up in the air, strangled. Come on, Magicka. Come on, Magicka. You can do it. You can do it. So close. So close. So close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just get it. Gotcha. And here comes the little, little, little. Okie dokie. Fire salts will take it. And we're finally here, guys. The main objective of this video. We're just starting it now. Can you believe it? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a much longer video than usual, but as I've said in the past, I'm not opposed to that. I'm going to try and avoid cutting as much as I can. You know, just putting more and more content out there gives you guys plenty of stuff, plenty of uh, video, video to just sit down and watch and kick back, you know. Bear traps, those are a, those are a one-shot kill for us. Yeah, it gives you guys something to watch. And, you know, I don't mind sitting down for a bit longer and playing a game. You know, I don't think anybody does because ultimately, you know, as soon as I'm sure a lot of you are probably somewhat familiar with the editing process is oh as soon as I decide to end a video, I then have to, you know, edit it a little bit and then render it. And then that usually, oh, yeah, Skyrim physics are what's going to kill me. Not this, uh, not this mage in here. Yeah, I've got to edit it a little bit and then render it. And that usually takes about above an hour. And then I've got to upload it to YouTube. That Come takes on, like another hour. And then it doesn't upload at full HD for like the first like eight hours. I've got to wait for it to actually become a HD video before I can make it public. Or I can I suppose I can make it public beforehand. But I don't want to, I don't want to put out any content or videos that I feel like have subpar quality. If you know what I mean. It's just... It's not really what I want to do. So, yeah, it takes... There's quite a lot of... Oh, my goodness. Did you... Uh, it takes what it takes quite a lot of time between my playing sessions where it's just editing, rendering, waiting to upload, uploading, waiting for it to become HD. Yeah, it, just, it takes a little while, so... That was a very, very, very long way to say that I don't mind playing a little bit longer than usual. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you just... My mind... My mouth just starts going. Hopefully that's not too bad. Three's good. My mouth just starts going. And I... I, I just can't stop talking because, like, I'm trying to focus on staying alive and talking at the same time. Oh. But I love it. This is actually... It, I actually look forward to coming home from work and being like, yeah, I get to, you know, record. And as much as I say I've got to take a break in between, oh, Uthgerd, you're going to activate that, aren't you? You definitely are. As much as I say I've got to take a break, like, every time I finish playing a game, that's that's not a bad thing either because, you know, while it's rendering, it gives me an excuse or a reason to actually stop playing and go and get other stuff done that need to be done that... In the past, when I haven't been into recording or into YouTube, I'd kind of just, uh, you know, keep playing for hours and hours and hours, and nothing else in my life would get done. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you guys can probably relate, because that's just how we are as people that play games. We absolutely... Who's good? Please, don't do a faindle on me. You're lucky that was the door. You didn't cause me too much stress or infuriation. Oh, I don't like that at all. Uthgo, don't step on that, please. Oh, my goodness, Uthgo. <laughs> you did a fandle. You did a fandle. My gosh. Okay, I'll, I'll forgive it, though, because that was pretty funny. Oh, don't like that. Okay, we really, really need to... Let's get some courage going. And I think what I'm going to start utilizing too is Fury because this is like, I, I feel like I'm not, util yeah, we're definitely going to start using this. I don't know why I haven't been using it. That is such a powerful spell, especially in places like this. Oh, I'm so glad I just thought to use it as I just took it out of my hand. I'm so glad I thought to use it though because that's going to be pretty invaluable to be honest. Um, we've got some potential allies in here. So actually I won't conjure a flame on in case I it does something wrong and it turns them all against me. 
we'll just stick with choking grasp now because that's like the least area damagey type of spell it's not going to get me in trouble with anyone hello out of the way meat oh so polite i really want to let you go hello out of the way meat oh so polite i really want to set you free and i can't talk to you because you're just perched up back there like a little kid in his cubby house Okie dokie, so what we're going to do is, if you guys don't actually know, these guys, if you set fur, backpack with bedroll, if you set these guys free, they uh, they don't take too kindly to, ooh, they don't take too kindly to what these mages have been doing to them, so they'll completely ignore you as a potential food source or someone that they would usually go after to try and kill. And they will actually be pretty uh, invaluable, especially in this next room. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the levers cronk and we're going to open up all these cages and we're going to let them press on through and you Look need out. to join the your friends and we'll just, you know, kind of send them forward as the cannon fodder for now. And Uthgird, you're not cannon fodder, you're invaluable, I love you Uthgird, but you, you're going to go forward with them as well, obviously. Oh no, you're still with me, cool. But yeah, we're going to let them try and take some of the brunt of the damage, and I lie, I'm going to pull out my flame watch knock in here, because there's plenty of room for it. We're going to pull her out, because, you know, more targets for the for the enemy AI to target on instead of us is never a bad thing, as well as more damage output happening from our side. Never, never, never a bad thing. Um, ah, and I almost forgot. Fury. Hopefully none of you guys can actually resist this and hopefully I get enough magic help within this fight to start casting it. Until then, I'm going to do the Zarnov thing to do, which we all know is to just run around and loot stuff while the fight rages on around us, you know. It's a perfectly safe, perfectly legitimate, perfectly reasonable thing to do. Why is there a Khajiit in here? He's not a vampire. Why is another Khajiit? Hmm. Um, now... Let's get Fury going on it. Okay. That's always good. And now they run away. So they're good. They're definitely very good for this room. Where is that? Did somebody run away? Yeah, they did too. Yeah, after uh, this room, they tend to just run out. You never see them again. You never get to interact with them again. But they're pretty invaluable for this room. Like if you saw the amount of mages that were in this room that we would usually have to take care of by ourselves if we didn't utilize these guys it'd be pretty impossible go on finish them up good stuff good stuff good stuff Alrighty, on to the next room and we're gonna do a little savey here because i've definitely learnt my lesson this episode i think in terms of just saving just just remember to save and your life will be oh so much more pleasant is that a skill book somewhere back here that I think I saw? No. Your life will be oh so much more pleasant. Ingredients, ingredients, soul gems. Come to me, come to me, come to me. That's everything. Okie dokie. And down here, I think we find the fella we've been looking for. So. He's over there. Is someone? Nobody's here. Shh, 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 shh. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Somebody's there. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness. Again, this is why having somebody to tank the damage for you is so invaluable and legendary. I don't... I've seen a lot of other playthroughs where people just refuse to take companions. And it's almost... Where are you? They're going to do something awful to me. Mm. There's a lever right there in the center. Hurry before more of them show up. Okay, okay. Just hold up, the, hold your horses there a little bit, fella. Yeah, I find having followers and companions almost invaluable, especially for like mages. Where I mean, I I couldn't do any of this if it was just me. Literally, I need someone. I need the extra health bars. That's essentially what these other people are. They're essentially more health for me and we don't want to keep going down that way not just yet so what we're gonna do is I don't think we can go up there 
We're going to unlock this door. <coughs> we're going to... We're going to unlock this door. And... We're going to unlock this chest. We're, we're going to unlock this chest. Yep, we're going to unlock this chest and see what it has. See what else is in this room. Yep, I definitely wanted that wooden plate. Um, iron gauntlet, steel sword, iron war hammer. We're going to drop the plate real quick because otherwise I'll forget about it and I'll just end up carrying around a plate until we, you know, get to the final boss of the entire game. But we'll release Orthorn and we'll have a chat to this fella. What you been up to, buddy? What's your story? Oh, you've saved me. Thank you so much. Who knows what they'd have done to me if you hadn't come along? I promise I'll help you get out of here. All right, all right. Uh, now, where are the books? The, the books? Oh, I see. I, I thought perhaps... Well, I thought you'd come for me. But yes, the books. The caller will have them. She was most interested in one of the volumes. Although not interested enough to keep me from being locked up. Well, is this some Creation Club stuff? I feel like we usually have a hell of a lot more options when we talk to him. Um, you should get yourself to safety. Don't you need my help? Um, okay, yeah, this is what I was thinking about. Although I still feel like there's some speech options we didn't get to, um, we didn't get to push on or press for, sorry. Um... Yeah, you're right. I could use some help. I shall do my best. Thank you, my friend. The one thing that I don't like about this quest is that I wish that after you finished and if you kept him alive, you could have him as like a potential follower or something. I reckon that would be pretty cool. And then like, you know, obviously have him as a companion and talk to him more and find out more of what he was about and what he did at the college and stuff. I feel like there's some, some missing content potential there, but oh well. That, I mean, Skyrim's such a content-heavy game. Like, everything is content, content, content. I suppose I'm just being a bit nitpicky at that point. Can Jewel Flame Atronach again, because you can never have too many people taking damage for you. Okay. Good. We'll take a short break, and then move on to wide area destruction. Thank you, thank you. And while you're on your break, I'm just going to put a, a track in the middle of the room. Nice little surprise for you guys. Uthgerd, you run in there. You can hang back. You can hang back with me. I don't blame you. Us mages, we, we got to stick together. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to get out Courage. Target won't flee for 60 seconds and get some extra health and stamina. Yes. Whoa, wolsey, 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 wolsey. Hold your horses there. Wow, that was close. Okie dokie. Uthka, there you go. You absolute beast. Keep going. Um, and Conjure. I feel like we're going to need to get some... I, I really... I really, really like the thought of using these two. But I feel like we're going to have to invest in some of the vanilla spells as well. Because these just do too much area damage. Like, they're great, but... We're going to end up killing a follower, i.e. Uthgird, or a future follower that we get. Um, conjuration. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how this pans out for now. We'll get some, get some health going. We can never get too much restoration happening. I will destroy you. I believe her, guys. I believe her. Oh, man. I really don't want any of them to target me. Let's go. Flamey. Let's just go with the age old flames. They never let you down. Whoa! <laughs> what a noise. I don't think I've ever heard that noise in Skyrim. Like that actual voice line. Maybe I have, I don't know. I just don't feel like I have. <laughs> I 
I just don't feel like I've heard those before. I don't know why. Okie dokie. Blue dart wing. Take it. Spring and sap. Definitely take it. And... Apprentice fire mage. Paralysis poison recipe. Silver side perch. Why did I ever come here? Yeah, I agree. Why did you ever come here? This place seems terrible. Okay. Sack. We'll take it. Cabbage. Salts. Let's do it. And this is what they've been doing to the vampire. So you can see why they were pretty eager to help us out. They've been experimenting on them and just using them as target practice. Pretty, pretty terrible people. I mean, they're vampires. Oh, we got to you and saved you in time. Don't speak to me, meat. Okie dokie. Well, you can spend the rest of your existence because you're immortal. You're never going to die. And you're going to spend the rest of it in this cage. Hmm. Why don't you think about being a nice person for eternity? And we'll push forward. Some cheese, frost Miriam, um, and keep going. Garlic can never have enough garlic. That's really good for another potion we can make. Uh, leg of goat. That's all good. We'll leave that. And it's almost like the game senses my presence as the coffins start having the the uh, tops on them burst off. Alright, well, we're going to go with the age old. No, we're not. We don't even have enough magicka to... We need to find a bedroll or something because we cannot even conjure a, uh, a flame arch anymore. That's that's actually really, really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Uh, we're going to go with this fella. Hopefully he's somewhat powerful. And he's definitely seeming somewhat powerful. Nice, nice. I like it. Good choice to have him come out. The only unfortunate thing is, is he does take all of your magicka away. Uh, let's go with this. Flames you up. Flames you up. Flames you up. Oh my goodness. Oh. I probably got a little bit too ahead of myself. <laughs> I probably got a little bit too ahead of myself there. That's my fault. Oh, I didn't think he would one-shot us like that. That's my bad. I'm not even going to complain. That's my fault. I'm just going to try and get this next part done very, very quickly. Oh, we're all the way back here? I didn't even realize. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm not going to put you guys through this again. We'll just cut to the next part where we were at before. Okie dokie, and we're back again, guys. I just quickly blasted through that last stuff, picked all, picked up all the stuff I picked up last time, so we're essentially exactly the same. And I'm going to do a save, uh, because I forgot. Be careful. Necromancers, you say, hey? Okie dokie. Now, I blasted through a little bit quicker than before, so hopefully I still have the Magicka too. Yes. Um, although I think that's the last time I'll be able to spawn that one unfortunately now it's flames and we're definitely going to have some healing because we're getting pretty weak we're getting pretty weak actually i'm going to eat some food too i'm going to eat some food get some of that stamina back because we need pretty much every stat we can get that skeleton ancient lord mace definitely take that you, you're the one who killed me last time. Nice. Love to see you splatter everywhere after what you did to me. After what you put me through. And again, another little quick save. Dunskies. Oh, that looks like it's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. Alrighty. Let's get some courage. Good. Let's get some fury. Once my magic is back, let's get some fury. Yeah, just once I get enough magicka, we'll get some fury. There we go. We'll get him fighting his own peeps, hopefully. Nope, he's fighting me. That's not what I wanted. 
He's still fighting me. Um, the purpose of that was to get you to fight your own people, but all good. Minor destruction. We'll take it because we can here? disenchant that. Yeah, why did you ever come here? You're putting me through quite the ringer here, pal, to get you out of here. You, you would not believe what I went through to get here in the first place, and now I'm going through this. Thoran Veralt is not having a good day. This is this definitely ranks among some of his worst days in Skyrim. Even more worse than when he was about to be executed by the Imperials for something he was completely innocent of. Alright? He definitely ranks it worse than that. You have no idea what we've been through. Ooh, Ray Zombie will take it, although I'm pretty sure we already have it. We'll just sell it because weight one, value lots, maths equals profit. Um, so definitely worth it. Yes, I know my English is good. Let's keep pushing forward. And I'm still going to compulsively loot everything. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Didn't mean to interrupt you. I'll just leave this fellow with ya. There you go. Oh. There is a presence. You're quite correct, my undying friend. And now we go back to peppering people with some little bits of flames. Because that's all we can do. Only a fool tries to kill the dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was way too close. What was doing that to us? My goodness, what was do what was doing that fire damage to us? Was that our own? I've, I've got no idea, but that seems crazy. Uh, we've got perk points. I'm going to see if we can do anything to make this more uh, doable. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Apprentice conjuration for half. Apprentice. Yep. That's that's the perk we're getting. So we can keep on conjuring some flame ultranarchs. That is exactly what we need. Right now. Literally exactly what we need. Okie dokie. That works out really well, actually. That works out really, really well. Um, anything else? Nope, and we're gonna do another save here, and we're gonna keep pushing forward, and now, because I just got that perk, we're gonna summon this bad boy for half the magicka. Nice. Oh, I'm so glad we got that perk. I'm so glad I fought to check. Oh, jeez, what was that? What hit me? Oh, well. Uh, is that there it there we go. Vampire dust, eh? I think we're nearing we're still we're still a little ways away, but I think we're nearing the uh somewhat boss E type room. Back like lock picking is 15% easier. Dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that. Just in case we need to lock pick. What we really need, and hopefully they have in this game, is a mage's backpack. That's that's what we need more than anything. That's the one thing I don't think we've actually come across. Minor healing. Definitely take that. that? Oh, there's nothing. Oh, wrong thing. Oh. Okay, dokily, let's get out the flames to start pepperins again. That flame ultranarch is really invaluable. Whoa! Well, I'm just gonna stay right here, guys. Yep, I'm gonna stay right here. You guys do your thing, I believe in you. That's why I brought you away, because I don't believe in myself. And I need you. It's quite embarrassing how badly I need you. Um, that's everything for this room. So we came from there. That goes to Skyrim, I believe. Yep. And... Oh, you guys go back to sleep, please. I really wish I didn't open that door. 
Let's hopefully they stay in there and we can just... Nice, who's good? I like to see it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh he looks like he... Oh, no, 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 no. Aggro on someone else. Aggro on someone else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Again, we're going to bring out another one of these bad boys. Oh, I cannot wait until we get a conjuration all the way up and we can just conjure a certain something, which means we don't even need followers. Because that certain something is crazy, crazy powerful. Where's he running to? And oh, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> what are you doing back here? I'm going to close that door real quick because otherwise you'll kill me. Come out of there. I can't come, come in on. and get you. Let's see you put up a okay. Actually, actually, there's nobody in here with you. So, we are going to absolutely smack you with that. That absolutely depletes your magicka. Heck yeah. I actually feel like I'm somewhat powerful. <laughs> I actually feel like I can do something. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Oh, knapsack. Ooh, got some goodies in here. That's about it. Coin purse. Um... I don't know if that's my plan or not, and if it's not, it will 100% aggro on me and be very mad. Ooh, oh, very narrowly avoiding death here. I cannot believe I did not notice how low my health was. What? What? what what's going on? What's going on? Okay, 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 okay. Food, food, food. Get some of that stamina back. wasting a lot of food here I realize but that's the only thing we got for health right now oh okay sparks we'll take it I was really worried I thought after I did that that Orthorn was going to aggro on me then so I'm glad you didn't buddy we're going to quick save there uh, I already looted this room. That hey, opens the Skyrim. So we go up here now. Wooden door. Cheese. Cheese. An arcane enchant. Let's see if we can disenchant anything actually while we're here. So, robes of minor destruction. Yeah, we'll disenchant these bad boys. Good, 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 good. Unusual gem. Make sure you remember to take that. Alchemy lab. Let's see if we can... Oh, yes, I love a ruined book. How did you know, game? That's exactly what I wanted to pick up. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here. And then let's see if we can make any handy potions because our magicka is crazy, crazy, crazy like stupidly bad right now actually that's one thing we should also do we should look around and see if we can find a bed um what happens if i put these together conjuration spells last 13 percent longer still 13 percent longer yeah still 13 percent longer doesn't matter if i add the extra ingredient um pickpocket magicka resist fire resist frost okay those are some more potions that we have to start using that we already have resist fire and resist frost um, but nothing I can see that we can make that's of immediate use that we don't already have. Let's look around for a bed. We need to get this guy to Betty Buys. We really need to get him to Betty Buys. Uh, take that, take that. Otherwise, we've got absolutely... The is just through here. No, 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 no. We don't have to, no, no. We don't have to go up there. We don't have to go up there just yet. We're going to go down here and go to Sleepy Buys if the game allows us because we are insanely deprived of magicka right now and also a good old bonus to this is we'll actually finally be able to level up as well because i feel like we've got a few levels under our belt so we're gonna chuck them in magicka so we should come out of here feeling like an absolute powerhouse to be honest oh yeah two levels okay i thought maybe potentially hopefully really was hoping we had a little bit more than that but let's have a little look see at what we can get um, alteration. We are lagging behind on that really, really badly. Restoration. Um, 
<laughs> that would be nice. But we don't have enough levels in restoration to get that anyway. Uh, we don't really need that, I don't think, just yet. I'm seriously thinking. Bound weapons do more damage. We're not going to need that. Dual casting a conjuration spell overcharges spell, allowing it to last longer. Could be useful. Can summon all rays undead twice as far away. Could be useful as well. I'm feeling novice illusion. And what's this over here? What does this do? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Is that just dual casting? No, we don't need that. Okay. I'm feeling that's what we need right now. Alteration. Alteration dual casting. Okay. Hopefully. What's our magic pool looking at now? 220. And what does this spell cost? 166. Okay, so we should be able to start casting this spell. We should be able to start leveling alteration, hopefully. And also making us uh, less killable. Which is always a bonus. Okay. And just so you guys know as well, like if you're following along or a, or you've like started your own character and stuff and you're looking at leveling a lot of these things, um, a lot of spells are actually dependent on having uh, guys aggro on you. So like if I just casted this stone flesh over and over again, nothing would actually level. Unless I have people aggroed onto me. Like I get some people did I already get the did those people from up here run down they must have yeah so if you um get some people aggroed onto you that's the only way to stop it I'm gonna I'm gonna get this book that's the only way to um level your alteration but other spells like transmute or muffle don't require anything to be aggroed onto you or even detect life I'm pretty sure detect life is a good way to uh to level alteration and that doesn't require anyone to be trying to kill you did i miss something there no it was a wooden plate just had to double take the wooden plate okie dokie yes 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 i'll take all of it thank you so much and that's everything in here right dokily Yep, everything. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just down here chilling out, bro. Hell yeah. This ain't even. This ain't nothing but a thing. Yes, so we can do that now. Awesome. That's gonna level us really quickly because that's an apprentice spell and our alteration is so low. So that'll level us nice and quickly, nice and easily as well. Um, we'll get our own action knock out. Not that it's going to do much damage to that Ochrana, because obviously they're both flames. It might do some damage with aggroes on that person, but again, as I said, it's just more health bars that the enemies attack first instead of ours. You know, the age old saying that tanking the damage for us. Like to see it. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Felglow Keep Key. Wardrobe. Leather Strips. Sack. Sack. Jazzberry Grapes, Satchel, Iron Plate Helmet, Charcoal, Adventurer's Backpack, Increases Your Stamina, Fur Backpack, Dark Leather Backpack, Dark Leather Backpack with Bedroll, Give Us a Mage Backpack, there's gotta be one, there's gotta be one, <laughs> There's it, the, we've seen every other backpack except a Mage's Backpack, give me a Mage's Backpack please. I don't know. I'll take any bonus at this point. Uh, what can we use? We use... Choking Grass. Nice. Oh, and he's going to blow up. Stay away. Nice. Now. I'm going to try my best to keep you alive, Orthorn. But whether or not you stay alive is very much on you. And how you decide to take this. You can either be good about it, or you can be totally see active effects. Do we have any, like, diseases or anything? No, we've been pretty lucky. We've been pretty lucky when it comes to diseases and poisons. Usually, I think it's because I've avoided getting, like, physically hit by a lot of things, or being hit by skeevers and stuff, but we haven't had a single disease this whole, this whole playthrough so far. Which is, I mean, 
It seems unusual. I'm fairly sure I'm usually carrying around something at this point. If I didn't activate a um a shrine. Okie dokie, hide boots. Quick little chest here. Quick little quick little quick little chest here. There we go. Fifteen. Oh my goodness, we are so close. Why did I ever come here? Yes, why did you ever come here? As I have already said, the amount of trouble you've put me through, you are not my favourite person right now. You are on the list for sure. <sighs> the actual stress you have caused me, Orthorn. Anybody else would not be accompanying me right now. They would have stayed locked behind that cell. Another thing, um, just m make sure you grab these potions before you uh, jump into this room. You, Especially if you're on legendary survival mode, you're going to need literally everything you can get. So I'm going to save here real quick. And we're going to jump in to the Felglow Keep Ritual Chamber. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. How nice to meet you. Who are you? Names no longer matter. You may refer to me as the Caller. Now, do you have a reason for making such a mess? I'm here for the books from the college. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. I'm not going anywhere without those books. Are you attempting to threaten me after I've been so hospitable? Well, then you won't be leaving here at all. Ooh, them's fighting words. Oh, don't kill me in one second after the speech. After the dialogue lets me get out. Um, okay. We're going to need stone flesh. That's for certain. We're going to need to pop one of these bad boys out as well. That's for certain. Ooh. Stone flesh up. And then, come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Get one of them out. Cool. And... Okay, okay. If she's don't, if she doesn't have our, her ward up, none of my peeps are standing near her. Please tell me I got some some potions of magicka. Please, please, please. Okay, 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 sweet. We're going to try and absolutely blast her. Um, regenerate stamina, resist fire. What's she using? She's using shock, so resist, resist, resist shock is what we're looking for. Come on, come on, surely I have it. I'm almost certain I saw it. We've got everything but resist shock. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> We're killing it, team. We're killing it. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll manage. We'll manage. Okay, there she is. Oh, we just got one-shotted by that uh, by that flame I know. This is going to be interesting, lads. Strap in. Okay, okay. So we've already spoken to her, so I'm going to skip past it. Um, I'm here for the books from so the college. You come here. Yeah. Kill my assistants. Disrupt my work. I'm not going. No, oh, I didn't say now that. We're all oh well. And thank you, are we? I'm afraid we're well beyond pleasantries. I'll allow you the opportunity to turn around, walk out that door, and never come back. I suggest you move quickly. I'm not going anywhere without those books. Are you attempting to threaten me after I've been so hospitable? Well, then you won't be leaving here at all. Did you okay, okay. Straight into it. Straight into it. Alteration. Bang. Conjuration. Bang. Here's something. Get this bad boy out. And then, and then get this bad boy out. And and then we'll just we'll just die really quickly. And then. And then we'll we'll respawn really quickly. <sighs> this is gonna be so, so how difficult. Nice to meet you. Yes, Nick, yes, okay. No. Do you have a so you're just yes, you come here. I'm very disappointing, I know. 
That's not what I'm I said afraid. again. I'll allow you the opportunity. Are you it? Well, then you won't be leaving here at all. Okie dokie. Alteration, stone flesh, conjuration. Maybe I forget to play my smack out a bit earlier. Oh my goodness. Please, please, please. Uh, we can go resist fire because those Utramax are actually shooting us, so that does make sense to do. Do that. She's already taken our magic away before I could get Stone Flesh out. Get Stone Flesh out. Get Stone Flesh out. Four Pawn. Four Pawn. Uh, get your Flame up and out as well if you can. More health bars than that. Have you not been watching the videos? Okay. That's out. Um, 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 Let's go. Elemental Flare. Elemental Flare. Let's go potions of minor magicka. We're gonna use them all. Is, is that. We're gonna We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh no 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 no. Restore health. Yep. Restore magicka. Yep. Um 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 yep. And 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 uh, that's actually pretty handy. We'll have to remember that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, 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 um. What's our health looking like? Okay, health is somewhat full. Shit. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay. We are so badly wasting our food, but we have to... Oh no, I've contracted food poisoning. We really need our health to go up. We really, really need it to go up. I'm really, really worried that that food poisoning we just got is going to really badly affect... Our, our, our health isn't going up from eating. What has the food poisoning done? What has the food poisoning done to us? Food poisoning, magicka and stamina recover 50% slower and food no longer restores health for three days. That's why our health isn't going up. Oh man, that's not good. We're literally just gonna have to let them do everything. We're just gonna stand in this corner. Okay, 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 okay. Um, 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 um. Do you have any more potions of anything? Any more potions of anything? No. This is this is this is this is so hard. Okay. Um, we're gonna need to keep. We have to keep her magic down. Oh, and no, 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 aggro somewhere else, please. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Oh, dude, what am I doing? I have this. The whole reason I became a Breton. Absorb 50% of the magic from hostile spells for 60 seconds. Yes. Oh, how the... T oh, stop pressing that. How the tables have turned, my friend. Come on. Oh, no, no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Health has increased. Health has increased. Fortify health. Health has increased. No, but that's no... I need a healing potion. I need a healing potion stat. Resist fire. No, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me right now. Please, 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 please. Oh, jeez. Oh, how did I survive that? Orthorn, do something. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. This is not good. What have you been doing, Warthorn, this entire time? Where are you? What are you doing, Orthorn? What has he been doing? Has he just been standing there the whole time? Oh. Man. Okay. I think I know the approach we're going to have to do with this. So, so the main problem here is Uthgird going down. To meet you. 
if Uthgird goes down, no, no, Mid I didn't mean to do no. that. No. Do you have a if Uthgird so goes down, you that's um obviously not good for us. Again, I didn't click that. Oh, I'll allow you there's the a mod that fixes that. Um, that I'm not going anywhere without those books. Well, then you won't okay. So what we need to do is we need to get Uthgird rocking and rolling. I've got to get up. I'm just so we courage both of them. Try and avoid getting food poisoning again. Um, get a bunch of these. I think getting the food poisoning is definitely what killed us last time. So, now that we've got both of them couraged, we will get the flame utra knife back out. Like that. And now the flame utra knife back out. We will get this power on standby. Um, and with that, we will get, uh, what is it, choking grass, yeah, we'll get that, because that seems to be pretty decent. The worst thing is that every single time she does that thing where she respawns in, she's instantly aggroed on me for the first part. That's the, that's the worst part. And, oh. Damn you. Okay, we're gonna go in there. So you're how nice to meet you. I'm not gonna talk to her. I'm just going to No. I'm going to courage. I'm going to play my I've got to get up. Yes, how dare I. Is someone there? My gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna cut. I'll see you guys when we actually get Is close to killing there? And there we go. Oh my goodness. Did that take some absolute sweating to do. Oh, but it's finally done. Felglow Ritual Chamber Key. Blue Mage Robes. The loot, I've got to say, for what that was, is rather underwhelming. But I'm just so glad it's done. You were so much trouble. Oh, let's get these books. Yep, we'll read them later. I am not, not in the mood to read right now at all. At all. Return the books. Nice, 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 nice. So, requires key. Awesome. The boss room chest. Oh my goodness. Some leather boots and a little handful of change. I'm so glad I did all that. Well, everything worked out nicely, didn't it? I've got what I came for. Yes, you certainly do. You will be going back to the college then. I, uh, I think perhaps I'll wait a bit before venturing there myself. Let this whole thing blow over, you know. Give certain parties a chance to forget what I may have done. Still, you've got me out of that cage, and I won't forget it. Thank you again, and good luck to you. Thank you, Orthorn. I'm actually surprised you survived. Usually, even on like lesser difficulty playthroughs, you've died in the past for me, so good on you for surviving. Um, I can't remember if we actually do get to see him. I, I'm pretty sure we don't, but I don't know if there's actually any encounters in the world uh, where you w you can see him or find him again. Hopefully there is, because that would be pretty interesting to see what if you had any dialogue for that. White cap, spider egg, and that is Felglow Keep Dunskis. My goodness, was that an absolute grind but it's done now it's behind us we can move forward 
there's an arrow floating in the air and there's tomatoes in this sack you know we just got to look at all the bright and positive things like not having to do that again now and also that we did indeed achieve that we did indeed finish that quest on legendary uh, difficulty survival mode i'm pretty happy i was able to do that fire arrows we'll definitely take them that's definitely creation club stuff but that's gonna do it for today's episode ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness this is gonna be a long one by the time i'm done editing it hope you guys have a great day i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you in the next video.